And um, uh, Heather, I guess at this point, you could go ahead and share uh, page one of the budget and I'll go through it. <clears throat> okay, boy, I can hardly see that. Can see. Uh, okay. um, well, we can see. Okay. Uh, yeah, so the first thing I would like to, to point out is if you look uh, on this page where it says total income, you'll see $261,200. And then Heather, if you can go to page four. And uh, here we go. Now, if you look at total expenses, you see the same number, uh, $261,200. So that is to say we do have a balanced budget because our income and our expenses are exactly the same. Um, now, I, I'm just gonna go through this uh, first page first and then second page. I don't have very much to say. I'm really only gonna talk about the uh, main changes that were made in the budget for this year. Uh, I would point out, first of all, uh, on the income side, you'll notice there's a category called other income, which is just kind of up from the total income. and you see there that we have $10,500. 10 um, and increase. that is money that uh, is another donation that we have received uh, this year, um, very from a, a generous uh, congregant. And uh, that helped balance our budget considerably. We had a $10,000 donation last year as well. So that adds in. Now, if we can go down to the bottom half of the page. Um, You'll notice uh, footnote number two, uh, 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 yeah, up at the top where it says minister. Um, th that footnote is telling uh, that uh, all of the staff, the minister and the uh, other staff members all are getting a 2% uh, uh, raise this year. Um, so that applies to everyone. We were able to get that into the budget. And then if we can go down to the bottom of page one, and I will ask for questions before I go on to page two so that you can ask questions if you have them. Uh, at the bottom of page two, toward the bottom, you see media consultant. Oh, I'm sorry, page one, my mistake, Heather. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and you see media consultant, uh, and that is a new uh, item that we've added to the budget this year, basically because of uh, all the help that we've had from, uh, from Heather with, um, uh, the Sunday services and, and all of the other things that she has been doing during the pandemic. So um, that is an amount that we have put in for next year because some of this is going to continue. We don't really know how much is going to continue, uh, but that's a new item and we and so we have added that. And at this point, I will ask if any anyone has a question on page one. Uh, and if you do, it's probably better to ask it now before I go on to page two, although we can go back if we need to. So uh, if anyone has a question, unmute yourself and go ahead and ask, and I'll try to answer it for you. Russ, this is Kelsey. I'm incognito. Okay. It's not a question. I just want to applaud the board for giving extra um, reimbursement to Heather for everything she's done. She's been incredible. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, it was really necessary, and um, yeah, okay. Thank you, Kelsey, and I wanna clarify what that's for. Um, I'm, I'll, I'll stop the share for a second. Everybody, this is Heather, and that is not actual, um, that's a budgeted amount that may or may not get spent, and it's specifically tied to video work. So that applies to things like the, you know, the videos that I've made for the pilgrimage, um, you know, sort of concept, the, the worship theme for the year and the, uh, the Grinch video for Christmas Eve and the Vets video. So think projects like that going forward, um, it's giving a special line to that rather than uh, lumping it in with the office administrator compensation or treating it as a just a sort of reimbursement. So just so everybody understands that that's not just additional compensation, like a bonus or something, you know, I, I felt like I had to clarify um, from Kelsey's comment. And thank you so much, Kelsey, for the kudos. Um, it looks like Marianne Erickson has a question. Okay. Thank you. Uh, my question is, uh, have there been discussions regarding keeping us 
online as well as in person in September going forward? Uh, Patty can answer that. Answer that. Um, I have been in touch with so many um, ministers during this time, and it seems like there is a big movement towards hybrid services so that people are able to stay home and enjoy the service and are able to come in. So um, I think with, with our extended geographic area, um, I, that's what um, Heather and I will be working towards in the worship team. So um, exactly yeah, both of those things. Okay, any other questions? Good questions all. Sue's uh, here. I have one question. Uh, I get a lot of emails and stuff from banks in different places saying, would you like to go paperless? And I was wondering if we've considered, you know, the quarterly statements that get mailed out, the printing and envelopes and stamps, if we toyed with the idea of just going paperless or whoever chooses to, to save a little money there. We have, uh, we've looked at trying to uh, be able to email the uh, statements out. Um, we've, I kind of worked on that last year for quite a while and we were unable to really uh, manage to link the, uh, uh, the, the, pledge, uh, the pledge statement from our Power Church computer with the email. Um, I, I would still like to do that though. And I, I think that's a good reminder because if it would be possible to do that, it would save a lot of time and a lot of stamps and a lot of folding and licking envelopes and all the rest of it. So yeah, I, I hear you. That's a good idea. I'll try to pursue that some more. Any other questions? Okay, I'm gonna to go to page two then. Yeah, there's page two. Okay, so up to the top, you'll see it says uh, UUA uh, and PSWD dues. And you'll notice the amount has gone from 13,373 to 10,630. 28. Well, that's because um, uh, I was contacted by the UUA and uh, they told us that because of the, uh, the pandemic uh, and also because we, are, uh, we have been um, um, fair share members for uh, over 25 years, that we can discount our dues this, this year by 25%. So that figure, 10,628, is 75% of uh, of what our total dues would be. And I think our total dues were like 14,400. I don't have that number in here. Um, so we have discounted that and uh, uh, we still maintain our status as a fair share congregation. Uh, I called about that because I wanted to make sure of that because in the past we have raised extra funds in order to continue to be a fair share uh, congregation. I didn't want to lose that status, but as I said, because we've been 25 years with them, um, they're happy to do this for us. So then going down uh, under financial management, you'll see there is a new item there as well. It's called fundraising uh, slash event expenses, $2,550. And um, that is uh, the expenses for fundraising, basically. What we've done, uh, well, I think for the last, 20 years or more is that we have simply used the fundraising category as an in and out category. So we took the expenses out of it and then we only put what was net back into the, uh, into the income side. Uh, well, this year we're, we're trying to uh, end that so that we actually know what our expenses are for each of the different fundraisers that we're doing. And uh, so that money is going to be used for uh, for things like 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 Octria, which is our, our program that we use for the auction. Uh, it's going to be used for supplies for for a venue. Like if we do another concert, let's say at Watson Lake, we have a venue cost, and it would also pay for some of the uh, food that is in that is wrapped up in stewardship. So that's a new item, and really uh, all it amounts to is is better uh, sort of better accounting principles. Uh, um, it doesn't, it doesn't change much of anything else because all that money is raised under income. And then uh, a little further down, there's a new line. Um, well, it's called, um, uh, that's not a new line, mortgage principal and mortgage interest, uh, where footnote number nine is. 
Uh, that footnote, and you, you'll see all the footnotes on the last page, so you can look at them when we get there, but footnote nine basically is saying that we are paying uh, the entire mortgage uh, this year, both the principal and the interest uh, out of our budget. Uh, last year, we borrowed, uh, well, we took $7,300 from our um, mortgage subsidy fund, which is in a liability account. It's not part of our budget to supplement our budget so that we could uh, uh, pay both the principal and the interest on our, on our mortgage. And this year we haven't done that. So we're, we're paying for the whole thing. Uh, but then I have to point out also that the whole thing is considerably less this year because we did refinance the, uh, uh, the property and we're uh, paying uh, three and a half percent now instead of five uh, percent and our mortgage payments have gone down about four hundred dollars every month so that was that was another thing that helped us this year uh, to make the budget and then directly underneath mortgage interest you see subpay all staff that's a new line item as well uh thirteen hundred and sixty dollars there that is to pay for uh, a substitute if a substitute is needed for one of our staff members. Um, uh, we have for the last year or two provided subpay for the administrator because we have the idea that the office should be open, you know, 52 uh, weeks of the year. And so we have, we have always had, well, for the last year, we've had substitute pay for that position. But now I've added in a week's substitute uh, pay also for music, social justice coordinator, and faith development coordinator. Uh, and that kind of came up because of uh, Lou needing some extra money this year. Well, we didn't have it in the budget this year, but we're setting it up so it'll be there for next year. And, uh, and, and don't worry, Lou, you're going to get all your pay. I don't mean to say it, make it sound like you're going to lose any pay because you certainly won't. But So that's a new line item as well. And that's all I have on page two. So I will ask for questions again. If you have any more, you can take a look down lower on page two. You'll see our, our utilities were the same this year as last year. Um, not much change in those other numbers. Uh, Suze, you got a question? I see you got your hand up. Maybe that's your old question. Okay. Russ, I have, a, I have a comment. Yeah. Um, I just want, I think this is a good opportunity to show people <laughs> that um, because when you use the faith development, people often keep the, the door open that are, it's kind of unbelievable that the cost of, um, of, of electricity is the same for our faith development and for our large building. So I just wanted to point that out to people because it's kind of surprising. Yeah, that's a good point. Any other questions? Okay, let's take a look at page three. Um, uh, on page three, down toward the bottom, um, there's really uh, not much for me to talk about at the top, but at the bottom, you'll see social justice. Uh, as you will recall, we had uh, Ren Manning as our social justice coordinator at the beginning of this year, and then she uh, resigned and took a job down by the border. Um, so the salary that's listed there for last year, that 17566 that was her pay. Um, but we have put in for next year a um, not quite the same amount of time. Uh, Ren, was, Ren was doing uh, 20 hours a week, uh, but the 1240 $12,480 is for 15 hours a week for a social justice coordinator, and that's for 52 weeks of the year. So uh, we, we have put that back in um, for next year, so we will have somebody coming in to do that. And um, that's all I have on that page. I have very little left to do. I'm almost done here. Uh, on page four, um, the only thing I would like to say there is about, um, well, uh, yeah, the only thing really is to look at the footnotes at the bottom, as far as I can tell. If you have any questions about those footnotes, um, can you scroll up a little? Thank you, Heather. So I've gone through most of these, um, and I know you can't go back to the page, but the donation is mentioned there. The 2% raise in salary is mentioned. FICA is something that we always have to do. So. Um, uh, 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 you know, Patty's installation was uh, postponed okay. last year, so we still have money for that this year. Hopefully, we'll get her installed 
before too much longer. <laughs> um, and there's there's another there's another change that's reflected between. That has not actually ever been installed. Oh, hey Rick, I can hear you from hey, here. Oh, sorry, sorry. That's okay. Oh, Ross, yeah, can you wait, Ross? Yes, I can. Norma West had a question. When okay, go back. ahead, Norma. <laughs> You're muted, Norma. Norma, you're muted. Um, my question is about our electricity bill, um, which is <clears throat> we're spending an awful lot of money. Have we ever thought of doing solar? Has any, have we looked into the um, possibility of getting solar at any point? Is, is Dick available? He'd be the best one to answer. Yeah. We, we have four, there's the two of us that are working on the solar, Dan and myself, and we actually met yesterday. And oh, it is, has become very complicated. APS has made solar an extremely complicated, but we were going to investigate further and we will be reporting back on what possibilities solar is now at this point. It's something we should have done 10 years ago. Yes, exactly. Thank you. I You're welcome. You're stepping in and doing that. Thanks, Fred. You're welcome. Are there any other questions uh, um, about the footnotes or really about anything else? Um, I, I, you know, I guess I say I feel very happy about this budget because um, I think it's the first time since I've been with the church that we haven't had to do some very serious renegotiations that involve contracts and other things. I see some questions. Let's go to yeah, uh, Deidre question. Schwartz over here. Uh, it would be me, Michael. If I'm not mistaken, did I see a line item for $18,000 of miscellaneous administration? Uh, and if so, can you tell me a little bit what that is? 18. That was on page two, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, no. Uh, oh no, that's the total. That's the total for that for that category. Uh, yeah. That eighteen hundred uh, plus the uh, plus the total for administration up above twenty one hundred totals to thirty nine. So that's a total figure. I'm still it's not. Up, yeah. Does that make sense? No, I'm not seeing what I thought. Oh, down here, further down, oh, sub, subtotal. subtotal up. Well, oh, I guess oh, that's the subtotal. Yeah. yeah oh. it's just, it, All right. I thought it, I thought I saw something where it said miscellaneous on there. So. No, I I, I have totaled up the uh, uh, the um, financial parts in in two. I, I get that part. Okay. Parts. Yeah. yeah. Suki, what was your question? Well, I'm very happy, of course, that social justice coordinator position is in there, but I would like to know what the discussions were that found it okay to drop it from 20 hours to 15 hours. Well, I guess uh, uh, mostly it was a matter of making the budget uh, balance. Um, when I when we first were looking at the balance at, at the uh, uh, at the budget. Uh, it looked like we might not have a social justice coordinator at all. And then uh, when we received the uh, $10,000 donation, that allowed us to put the position back in. Um, but I, I didn't feel like I could put it back in full time because we were didn't have quite enough money to, to get to that point. But hopefully we will the year after. Uh, looks like Bev's got a question. I hope Hi, I, I joined a little late because I was with the little kids. Uh, so what happens when we didn't spend money this past year? Is that just over and done with? Well, uh, what happens there is if we have a surplus from this year, it doesn't really have any effect on next year's budget because next year's budget has to come from next year's pledges. But if we do have a, sub, a, a surplus at the end of the year, we'll probably be talking in July about whether we want to roll some of that money into our unanticipated funds. Uh, category. That's what we've done in the past. Elaine has a question or an answer here. Yeah, I think it would go into the unanticipated needs category. 
which uh, we're using this year to pay for lawyer fees, but it's usually if the heating system goes or the air conditioning goes, that's what that is for, for major expenses. And we have no idea how much the lawyer fees will be this year. So yeah. that's coming out of unanticipated expenses. Yeah. Talk about unanticipated expenses. That's been a real problem with faith development with the children on Zoom this year. So um, the budget that we had proposed for this current year uh, obviously didn't take anything like that into account. So um, I was just wondering how to finish. I, I, this, pro this is not appropriate necessarily for next year's budget, but um, when those can can those unanticipated funds be um, can th can those be available for the current year? Elaine, it's for capital expenses or things like lawyer fees. It's not for supplies. Those come out of the operating budget. Okay, it's not a deep pocket for everything. It wasn't designed that way. Um, but if you have problems this year because you don't have enough money, then you need to uh, bring it to me and I'll bring it to the board. Okay, thank you. Jerry? I, I think you mentioned lawyer's fees and I, I think that we haven't uh, explained what that is for presently. Maybe you should just briefly uh, say what the lawyer's fees are for. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, I, I guess I can do that, Elaine, if you want. Um, yeah, um, uh, when we uh, renegotiated with the Odd Fellows to lower our interest rate uh, down to three and a half percent, Jack Wood was looking through the uh, uh, the the court the court documents to see what they had on file, and we discovered that there was a um, a lien on the property uh, or a contract, a deed of trust, actually, uh, which had been done back in 2014 uh, when. There, were, there was an affinity loan group that got together to raise money to try and perhaps pay off um, the building. Uh, and uh, there were several people, eight or 10 people, I think, that were involved, and they made donations to the church. And to sort of protect those people who were donating money, uh, this deed of trust was put on the books. Then what happened was most of the people forgave the debt and decided they didn't need to be paid back. Some of the people were actually paid back. So there is no question about that affinity loan still being out there, but the paperwork is still over there at the courthouse. And uh, that's the difficulty that we have. If we ever tried to sell the property, there would be a cloud on our title. And so we're trying to get that, um, get that out of there because there's no reason for it to be there anymore. Uh, but it's a it's a kind of a legal hassle to figure out how to do that, because some of the people who gave money are deceased now as well, and we don't know what their heirs might you know want want to do on that. So uh, we're hiring a lawyer to take care of that for us. Yeah, Suki. I'm just curious how much is in the unanticipated expense fund. It's about twenty thousand dollars. Yeah. And, and hopefully we'll be able to raise it up. Uh, uh, when that was set up about five years ago, the idea was to try and put like, uh, you know, maybe 10% of our budget or uh, a certain amount of money in each year. And we have done that, I think, once since it was set up and it's probably time for us to do it again, I think, uh, if we have some extra money, so yeah. Other questions? Um, I have a question, Russ, but I've got to uh, plug in my microphone. Sorry. Okay, I can hear you. I can hear you. We're hearing you fine, Marianne. Yeah. Okay. Um, what, what I wanted to mention is that the stewardship campaign has produced pledges of $223,766 so far. And that is more than what is reflected in the budget at this moment. So that $3,766, if the board approves it, uh, could be made available in the future for additional expenses, operating expenses. Um, I, I think back to the time the Unanticipated Needs Fund was developed uh, and suggested, and it referred to what some people, economists and, and others would call depreciation. So the, um, 
uh, putting putting aside money for the replacement of heavy equipment, uh, you know, uh, air, HVAC equipment, the roof, things like that. And that is, um, we, we don't have a depreciation account that we've been putting into by that name. Instead, it is the unanticipated needs fund. And then finally for Michael Schwartz, but I don't see that he's here. Uh, oh, he is back here. Um, Michael, I think something that's confusing about um, the way our budget uh, appears to, to some of us is that page one administrative expenses, they are added into that figure that says subtotal other administration on page two. And then so that it isn't really clear where that 18,328 comes from, unless you know that it came from some of the, all of the things listed on page one, as well as the ones on page two. Thank you. Okay, any other questions? <laughs> yeah, I suspect uh, the board may decide to add in uh, if we have a final, uh, you know, a final figure for stewardship, we might, uh, we will probably put that into the budget and make an adjustment with it. Um, uh, I'm not sure. I can't speak for the board on that, but um, yeah. Russ? Yes. Um, Joan Brown has a question. Okay. Joan, do you want to chime in? Yeah. Well, as someone who doesn't know much about the budget, I'm wondering um, what, how, uh, uh, on our mortgage, how much is left to pay off and what's the anticipated number of years we have to pay it off? We have about 71,000 left to pay off. And I think it's about six years to pay it off now. Uh, we're paying it off a little bit slower because we lowered the rate. So it ad added a little time onto it, but it makes it much more manageable for our budget to have a smaller payment. So, yeah. Okay. <coughs> yes, there's uh, Peter, Peter or Joe. Does this work? You got yeah, me? I got you. <laughs> I, I just want to say, I find it remarkable uh, after after some history with this organization that we have twenty thousand dollars in the bank for reserve, and I think we need to pat ourselves on the back for that achievement. That is really remarkable that we are that comfortable. Um, that doesn't mean we have to act comfortable. <laughs> that just means you know that that is a stage of maturity and growth that I, I I'm just very grateful for. Said yeah, it only took 25, 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to see all of this and the, and the great work the stewardship committee did. Uh, just yeah. and, and I would add that it was like 10, maybe 10 years ago or 12 years ago now that the treasurer was calling people, asking them to make their pledges early because we didn't have enough money to pay the bills. Yeah. So it's yeah. remarkable. Okay, Norma. I have um, a question um, about, I've forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that's okay. I forgot the answer too. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know what it was, Russ. Um, all these, all these plans that we've had for raising the roof, essentially, um, is there any plan to actually start? Yeah, I mean, do we have any money to to start that even? Well, I, I not not yet. We don't. Um, the only thing I can really say in connection with that is that um, we're trying to. Um, use this year's budget, money that we have in this year's budget to, uh, to provide people with a kind of a clear choice uh, so that we can perhaps make a decision going forward. Mm -hmm. And then I think, uh, you know, once that decision is made, then I think uh, we'll be looking at, at um, financing it. And we haven't talked much about how we're gonna do that yet. Yeah, thank you. Okay, anyone else? Bev? Unmute, Bev. I got it. I got it. So, is that what what is considered a capital project? 
Yeah, it would be. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Okay. Um, well, then I think I, I, I think that kind of re was Rick. You got a question or no? Okay. Uh, I think that kind of wraps it up. Unless uh, someone can unmute and speak out, so I know you're there. Um, we'll be coming back at our uh, at our annual meeting on. Um, on May the 23rd, and you will see this budget again. And at that point, um, we're gonna ask for you to uh, okay the budget. Um, so if you do have any questions or things that are, you know, you don't understand about it, please, please feel free to contact me directly and I will try to answer any questions that you have. Um, and if not, I think I will bring this to an end. Is that okay, Patty? Yeah. You Great wanna send us up? Great Go job, ahead. Russ. Okay. Great job, Russ. Let's hear it for Russ. Yes. Great job, everyone. Thank Great you. Job. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I'll see all you people on Zoom or live. Okay. Take care. Okay. Bye now. <laughs>